did we what did we learn from this uh, use case? Thanks, Ganesh. Uh, so part of the idea for these use cases is to share with you that uh, migrating to, from Spark to Snowpark is not only uh, feasible, but it's easy, and there's some simple lessons that we have learned that can be very valuable. Uh, as Ganesh was explaining, uh, Snowpark provides a data frame API, which has been designed to be very compatible with the Spark uh, data frame API and also with the Pandas uh, data frame APIs. So that will make the transition of your code more easily. Uh, this is where you choose this kind of code because this is like more challenging aspect because this was like an RDD kind of code. And uh, like RDD data sets can also be migrated to uh, Snowpark. One of the things with RDD is that conceptually you see them like an array of objects. And so most of the operations are meant to do like reducing or like very, very similar to the uh, standard map, uh, map reduce uh, kind of APIs. And uh, what I, we wanted to show here is like, this is a uh, very simple code that uh, takes an RDD of let's call the like, click objects and is trying to do like a key by and reduce by operation. Um, the things that we have to do with these things, it doesn't like, again, Having an RDD doesn't make, you cannot move this code to Snowpark. Snowpark doesn't have the concept of an RDD on a data set. Uh, in most occasions, like, you can just plainly migrate your, your data sets to data frames and that will be mostly it because a data set is mostly a, a superset of, of some of the things in the data sets. Uh, bless you. And, and in this uh, kind of thing, like, uh, when the, the lesson that we uh, found is uh, there were a lot of uh, map partition and reduce by aggregations, and they can be simply map to uh, the window operations. So the window operations will be very helpful here. Like uh, most of these kind of things were done in RDD mostly because there was the only way that you had to partition the data, to distribute it uh, around your cluster, and we then uh, be able to do like uh, the reduction and, the, and then the merging of the partitions. The good things about us now, Park, is you don't have to worry about those things because the actual operation that you want to do here is just like you're creating a partition, which is just like a window standard operation, and then you can apply the aggregation operators. Uh, if you're worried about like the keeping some of the typing of the uh, RDDs, there are, are options, like you can create like, for example, a class or a, a, a wrapper data frame on top of your um, of data frame uh, API, which will help you to retain some of that typing, uh, which is, like could be useful if you want to like keep some of your code and change. But if not, I will just recommend to go straight to the data frame API.